Hi there and welcome back to my channel. My name is Karen and this is Karen's Nitpicks. Today I am gonna try to make it quick. <laughs> I had said that the last video that I made and it was not as quick as it should have been. So today I'm actually gonna try to make it quick I don't have a lot to share actually so it should be quick so first things first thank you very much for all of your congratulations uh, from my last video on my engagement I really appreciate it it's very very exciting and we've got a lot of fun things going on so thank you I really do appreciate it um, other than that I actually don't have very many like updates for you so I'm just gonna kind of get into my finished objects I happen to have two today so it's very exciting <laughs> so the first one that I'm gonna show you is actually my novice cardigan chunky edition it's finally all finished here I'll put it on because that's the only way that you're gonna get the full effect. Okay, look how cute, how cute. I've got my buttons, very cute. And it matches my ring also. <laughs> okay, so fun. Um, so this is my novice cardigan chunky edition. The pattern is by Petite Knit. It's knit on seven millimeter needles, just in regular stockinette. Um, it has, you know, a circular yoke. I used yarn from Hobby. I used the Friends wool in the color sapphire and then the Friends kids silk in also the color sapphire and I really love it the silk strand in the mohair is really nice um, it's like a white strand and I know a lot of people don't like the white strand for their mohair but I actually think it's nice because it adds a little bit of like visual interest when you look at it up close um, so I kind of like it but I know it's a personal preference. And what else? And then I also finished with some buttons, just white buttons. I actually did a poll on YouTube and Instagram to see what you liked better. I couldn't decide. Um, so it was between these white ones and then I had some pearl buttons also. But I went with the white because the fabric <laughs> of the knit is pretty airy and I just felt like the pearl buttons might have been too heavy for it and I was getting a little nervous that they might rip out or fall out so I decided not to do that <laughs> and I just used these white ones. I got them in a pack of um, I don't know like 10 different sets of buttons from Amazon uh, the only thing is that the pattern calls for six buttons and it only came with a pack of five so I'm missing a top button but honestly like I think it's fine <laughs> I'm not so concerned about it uh, I will probably never even use the top button so it's kind of it would just be like a waste of space and probably also way too close to this other button so yeah, anyway, so what else about this? So it's knit on seven millimeter needles and it honestly just like flew. Like, I kind of hate when people say that things fly off the needles because I don't know, I just think it's like a funny phrase to use, but like this truly flew by. I really enjoyed it. I started it back in February and I the circular yoke was just kind of like a little boring plus I was still working on my sweater number 23 so I wasn't fully focused on this one but once I finished my sweater 23 
I put a lot more attention and focus into this one and it just I mean it became such an enjoyable knit I'm so glad that I made it and I honestly I really love it I thought the pattern was very user friendly beginner friendly rather not you well it's user friendly also I guess and um, I really I did not have any issues except for when I had to unravel because I did too many increases which was my own fault not a fault of the pattern I just wasn't paying close attention to my work and um, yeah honestly that's it would I make it again probably not because I think that there are other cardigan patterns that are a little bit more interesting but um i do enjoy it and i'm glad that i have this piece because i've been wanting a cardigan in this color for a very long time so i'm glad that i was able to successfully knit this for myself and luckily the weather was not too too hot when i finished it so i have gotten to wear it a couple of times uh before i have to put it away for the season so feel very lucky about that but that is all I'm not going to talk too much more about it because I've mentioned it in quite a few other episodes so that is all and let's move on to my second finished object so my second finished object is kind of a surprise <laughs> unless you follow me on Instagram um, which I will link in the description below I just like kind of woke up one day and was like I think I need to do this so I did it um so to give a little bit of extra context so my boss is pregnant she's due in a couple of weeks uh she's probably gonna be like out by the time this video goes up actually <laughs> and I Back in like January, I was kind of contemplating if I should knit something for her and her baby and I decided not to back then but all of a sudden like a few weeks ago I was like, you know what, I need to just go for it. I need to do it. So I ordered some yarn and I made a little something for her new baby. So first things first is I will talk about the yarn. Because she is not like a crafter person, um, I used super wash yarn because I didn't want her to like have any issues with washing. So I decided to use Plymouth Yarns. Um, I used the DK Merino Super Wash, which is 100% Super Wash Fine Merino Wool. Um, it's in the color light gray, 1117. And it's a 50 gram ball with approximately 130 yards. It's you can machine wash it on the gentle cycle and tumble dry low. So that's the specs for the yarn. And this, whoops, is how much I have left. <laughs> One teeny little ball of yarn left. So. It was a very dramatic finish, I will be honest, because I made a couple of mistakes, which I will get into in a second. So this is the finished cardigan. It's so cute. I love a little baby cardigan. So precious. So I this pattern is the beginner's jacket from Petite Knit, which if you have been following along with me for a little while. I have knit this pattern before. Um, my fiance's sister had a baby a few months ago and so I knit this pattern for her baby when she was first born. <laughs> um, and I wasn't 100% satisfied with the way that I had knit that one because it was truly like my very first project that I had ever knit to completion so i partially wanted to do this for myself <laughs> to just like see if i could do a better job at it and i partially 
just wanted to do something very nice for my boss who is really lovely so that is my thought process plus it's super quick I mean I started this so right now it's May 15th and I started this last Sunday which was like the 8th or 7th something like that this took me exactly one week to knit and I actually took two days where I did not knit because I was busy with my regular life so I knit this in about five days which is amazing it's a super super easy baby knit if you have to make a quick gift for someone um, it is knit all in garter stitch it's a raglan construction and then the sleeves are knit flat and then seamed later on which is the part that I had some issues with because I forgot to do decreases on my sleeve so it took a couple of tries to get them right the second time but I am really happy with how they turned out and I think my steaming at the end turned out really nicely that was I think the biggest issue that I had the first time I made it was I wasn't happy with how the seams looked so I think this one looks really beautiful and there's a couple of little things that I noticed because I made it, but I don't think like a regular non-knitter is going to notice those kinds of things. So I'm very happy with it. And I put in a little label on it. I'll show you a close-up so you can see it better. So I put a label on it and I added a tag that says it was handmade just for you and it has you know the washing instructions um the fiber content and then on the back I just added all the sizing information and that sort of thing so I am very excited about giving this to her I'm gonna stick it in the mail immediately after I finish filming this um, and then another fun thing about this one is that I use snaps this time instead of buttons which because I know that some moms are a little bit sensitive about buttons because they can become a choking hazard, which I completely understand. So I decided to try out using snaps this time and they are fine, but they are a little bit fiddly if you want to actually, like if you close them and then try to open up again. So I probably need some practice. I probably need to get more like heavy duty snaps also. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I, I think the snaps are efficient in theory, but execution was not as efficient as I needed it to be. So they're done and it is what it is. So I will just keep that kind of stuff in mind for next time. So last thing is that it's knit on four millimeter needles. And since it's, I didn't gauge swatch for this, but since it's knit on it with super wash yarn, it did grow a little bit. So I made a note about that, like on the tag, just that it's like meant to be oversized <laughs> because it grows. Um, it grew a lot when it was wet and then when I when it dried it kind of cinched back up a little bit um, but it is definitely a little bit wider than how I how it was when I actually first knit it so but it's just it's all learning curve I definitely want to keep trying to work with superwash yarns because if I'm going to be gifting things it definitely is the easiest way to make sure that the knits that I'm gifting are going to be well cared for but yeah it is uh, it's tricky <laughs> it is definitely tricky to figure out sizing and how much it's going to grow and account for that and your gauge and all kinds of things so 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 that's all on this one I am really happy with this and I cannot wait to ship it out and see photos of her very sweet newborn, well, six-month-old baby in this cute little cardigan. Okay, 
So that's all for this. So those are my two finished objects and I'm going to move on to the one whip that I have and then I did a couple of swatches for you and I have a yarn haul because I didn't want to order just three skeins of yarn. I had to buy more than that, obviously. So next up on my list is my other novice cardigan. Uh, this one is still a whip and because I decided to knit the beginner's jacket for my boss, I have not worked on this in a couple of weeks, but I've definitely done some work, I think, since the last time that you've seen it. So this is basically going to be my priority for a little bit um, until I decide to cast something else on, which will probably not be very far from now. <laughs> so I am really enjoying this thing. I have to be honest. Okay, yarn is on the floor now. Um, so this is where I'm at right now. Look how bright and beautiful this looks. It's insane. So cute. Um, so this is my novice cardigan. It is the mohair edition uh, by Petite Knit. It's knit on four millimeter needles and the yarn that I am using is the Kid Silk from Hobby in the color, I think it's just called pink and I do this every single time where I say I think it's just called pink and I never actually look up what the color is called. <laughs> but I really do think it's just called pink. Um, and yeah, this is the same thing It's as the other one where the silk strand is white and so it makes for a little bit of like visual interest in the knit pattern so i like it i'm enjoying the i mean the way it's turning out so far but it's right now i'm at a point so where i'm at right now is i finished my last round of increases so I'm just knitting to the right length that I need so I can split for the sleeves and there are so many stitches on my needles that it's it's not fun to work on right now because there's just like a ton of stitches so once I split for sleeves it will probably be more interesting but it's not right now. It's gonna be probably a little hard to go back to working on, so that's why I feel like I might end up casting something else on. But I digress. So the only thing, so I followed the Chunky Edition 2 pattern exactly. The, so on this one, I think I may make a couple of adjustments. So. The one thing that I think I am going to adjust on this one is the sleeves. The other one kind of has like a balloon sleeve. Uh, so you do the decreases like at the very end. And I think for this one, I would prefer more of like a tapered sleeve because I think that that is just a little bit more my style. So I think that is going to be the one adjustment I make. So make the decreases spread out a little bit more throughout the piece versus doing them all at the same time. Other than that, I actually really like the fit. Other than that, so far I like the fit. I haven't tried this one on yet because it's not really like in a spot where I can try it on. But once I split for the sleeves, I think it'll be fine. But I think it seems like it's okay. Like it's, I feel like it's like wide enough for me. <laughs> I think it'll be fine. So that is where I'm at with this. Overall, I'm enjoying this. And I, except for the fact that there's like a million stitches on here. So once I have fewer stitches, I think I will enjoy it more. But until then, 
probably going to complain about it. And this is another one. I really like working with just mohair, but I do think that I will probably not knit this again. I think it's just... So I think that this is just not a pattern that I need, a piece that I need in my wardrobe anymore. And I think there's so many other patterns that I would rather make and I would rather have in my closet. So I think I've covered everything on this, but if I haven't, let me know <laughs> and I will leave a comment. Uh, you can leave a comment in the, just whatever, leave a comment and I will answer your questions if you have any about this pattern or any of the ones that I've already covered today. <laughs> that was so hard. Let's just move on to, uh, I guess, the couple of swatches that I did. So moving on to some of my knitting plans and my preparation for them. I know that I said I didn't gauge swatch for the beginner's jacket, but I do normally gauge swatch. <laughs> so I have two to share and these are projects that I am hoping to cast on this spring slash summer, but I'm also realizing that I like to be a monogamous knitter so i don't know when i will cast these on but they are they're in the queue right now so the first one is going to be the scallop jacket from stricke kaffe who is i think norwegian or danish i think she's norwegian knitting designer and she has a couple patterns that i really like but this has been my favorite so far so I shared the yarn for this in my last episode, I think. It was part of my haul, uh, but I hadn't knit the swatch yet, and I finally have it. And so far, it's very cute. So this one I am knitting in um, alpaca because I really love alpaca in, like, pieces that I've bought in the past. So I thought it would be really nice to knit one on my own. So right now I have a strand of alpaca silk and alpaca lace from Hobby. Um, one is in the color dark gray and the other one is in the color like something else that I will have to look up because I can't remember. And I knit on four millimeter needles and it's just knit in two by two rib really super simple construction. It's going to be a really nice um, addition to my wardrobe because I wear cardigans all the time. Obviously, I've just knit literally three cardigans <laughs> and so I wear them all the time and I know that this is going to be a piece that I wear often because I don't have the uh, one in this dark gray color. Plus, I really love texture and I find that I don't have really any textured knits, not even from uh, like shopping and stores, nothing that I've made. So I'm really just leaning into texture. Um, my only thought about this is that I'll show a close up, but it's very airy. I've met Gage with this swatch which I don't remember what the gauge is but I did meet gauge but I just feel like there's a lot of like I can really see through it there's a lot of holes in this fabric that I'm wondering if I should fill in with some mohair maybe or another I don't know if I want to use another strand of lace weight alpaca or if I should use like a lace weight mohair, something that's a little bit fuzzier to fill in those gaps. So that is what I'm torn on or if I should just go with this. Um, so I still have to make that decision and then I will either cast on this or maybe one of the projects that I shared in my previous video, but that is where I'm at right now. So yeah, I think it's going to be a nice piece to have. So 
We'll see. We'll see what I decide. I will let you know as soon as I cast it on. And then the other swatch that I have is going to be for the Marsa Marseille sweater from Petite Knit. I am very happy with this. I was not sure what was going to happen, but I'm very happy with this. So I, I um, knit this with cotton yarn. It's the Cotton DK yarn from Paintbox Yarns. And it is also my first time knitting stripes and having to carry my yarn. So it, it's been quite the learning experience. I definitely need to practice, but I think the issue was mostly because it's knit I knit it flat and I think you don't start the stripes until you're working in the round. So I think doing these in the round will probably help me a little bit. But I am really happy with this. I think it looks really nice. I believe I talked about my knitting plan for this, the color scheme for this in my last podcast episode. So if you want to see that, you can um, I will link it. I think it's this side and you can take a look at it. But yeah, I am really happy with this. And this one I also met Gage and I'm so excited to knit this. I think it's going to be really beautiful. The cotton is really nice. I wasn't sure about it in the ball, but once it's been washed and blocked, I think it's like a really nice fabric. And the colors are really nice as well. So I'm just, I'm very excited to cast this on. I don't want to knit another stockinette piece at the moment, but I do feel like I would really enjoy knitting this, so I might cast it on anyway. So those are my swatches, and I think, no, I have a yarn haul, so let's do the yarn haul very quickly. <laughs> so last but not least, I bought some more yarn. I bought, I was looking for yarn initially because I was going to make the baby cardigan. That was why I bought yarn in the first place. But I was like, I only needed like 150 grams for that one. So I was like, I'm not just going to buy three hanks of yarn. That seems a little bit silly. So I bought like, oh, I don't know, two, four, six nine instead <laughs> like a normal person obviously um <laughs> whatever so i decided to make another sweater for my fiance's niece my niece our niece <laughs> and because she is going to be a year old in november so i figured i would make her a new sweater that she'll be able to wear over the next year um, since she'll have grown out of her cardigan that I made her last year. So my plan for this is going to be to knit the festival sweater by Petite Knit. I am really excited about this because I really, number one, like the festival sweater. I think it's very, very cute for a baby, <laughs> number one. Um, but I also like it for adults and so I want to kind of get a good handle of it on the baby knit that's going to be a little bit quicker uh, before I decide to knit it for myself. So that is my thought process on this because I know that a lot of people think the baubles can get a little bit fiddly when you're first learning it so I'm practicing basically <laughs> on the baby knit. So my plan is I bought some more of the same Plymouth Yarns DK Merino Superwash. So I bought a white one. And then I also bought pink and purple because she, I don't know, I'm leaning into gender roles, I guess. <laughs> so I got pink and purple for her. And then I also have some leftover yarn from her baby cardigan that is like a slightly darker pink than this. I don't have it down here with me, 
um, but it's a little bit darker. So I figured the three of them would be nice stripes and then the white is the base. So that's my thought process. So let me share what colors these are. So this white is just called white, easy enough. The pink is called pink, wow, they're very creative. And then the purple is called lavender. So, very cute. I'm really excited to make this for her. Um, I just, I like knitting for babies and I don't do it as often as I probably would like to. So, I'm gonna definitely start working on these probably soon so that I don't have to rush into it. But um, because it is a superwash yarn, I think what I'm going to do is actually gauge swatch for this one. And I will try to make the adjustments that I need to. So probably going down a needle size to adjust for the stretchiness of the yarn because I want it to fit her very nicely <laughs> when she is like a one-year-old versus her having to wait a little bit longer and growing into it so I'll make the adjustments as I see fit probably but yeah so that's my thought I haven't bought the pattern for it yet but I did a poll a couple of weeks ago on YouTube actually and a lot of you guys said that you actually do keep a stash of knitting patterns and I have not done that. I normally would buy the yarn and the pattern when I'm ready to knit it and then I just keep kind of like a list on my phone of all the patterns that I want to make. Um, so basically inspired me or influenced me <laughs> to kind of build up a stash of knitting patterns. So I am going to start doing that. <laughs> so the next time I buy patterns is when I will probably buy the festival sweater and just start kind of building out a collection for myself. So yeah. I think that is all I have to offer today. <laughs> so I think this was a short video. I hope it was a short video. Hopefully editing Karen is not upset with me that it's actually a long video. So that's all for today. Thank you so much for continuing to watch my videos and tuning in and sticking with me as I take on in this knitting journey at my own pace and you know take the time to learn a lot of new things every time I make a new pattern so I really appreciate it and I cannot wait to keep going and making more videos for you more knitting things for myself <laughs> and just enjoying this whole process so that is all. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more. Uh, feel free to like and comment and let me know, I guess, what is in your spring knitting plans. If you have any baby knitting plans soon, that would be really nice to know. Um, and I guess I will talk to you next time. Bye.